Yeah, let me clear this up, man. Been hearing a lot of things circulating out there, man. <laughs> we know the truth. That boy, that boy done made videos and shit about my dog. Come on, man. I had to address it. You know what I'm saying? That boy told you to get to the room? Man, hell no, that man ain't telling me to get to the room. I told him one time. I said, I'm going to tell you one time and one time only. Don't touch that TV. Bro, don't yet. touch it, bro. Because we all, as a as a whole, we was like, bro, we're going to watch this. You know what it was? You don't remember? I don't remember what it was. My dog wanted to watch a speech about the president or yeah. something like that, bro. You think I don't remember? Boy, yeah. I remember. I think it was around. It was, it was about around. something about the president. You feel yeah. me? My dog said, don't be touching that shit. And he wanted to put the key on. Yeah, and he wanted to put on some bullshit. <laughs> I was like, nah, bro, we ain't watching that shit today, bro. It's something very important. Because, you know, those that think like-minded, we trying to, yeah. even though we incarcerated, we trying to really think like, okay, out there and what's going All on. All you get's the newspaper, though. Yeah. Other than that, bitch, you got to see what they talking about yeah, on TV. Yeah, for real, because if you don't, you'll get yourself lost, man. You'll get lost in the sauce and get lost in that shit. So you told him, don't be touching the TV, right? I told him, I said, look, bro, we watching this, so we basically... Going to change the channel war, like you know, it, and he fucked around and, and touched my hand. And I was like, ah, oh, okay, bah, that's it. <laughs> that boy, oh, that's it. I just told him Split one time, one. man. So we did all of that. Went to with the confinement, and I got taken off seventh floor. But okay. ain't you ain't you see him somewhere one time? Didn't y'all like see each other from behind the door somewhere or something? You ran to him. And you yeah. try to be all fat. Did he say yeah. something to you? We was going to court. We was in the holding cell. You know the holding cell downstairs when you go to court? Yeah. I see the bed. So he like, damn, bro. You been you gonna hit me with shit. I said, bro, I already told you, bro. Don't be don't be playing with me about that. You just tried because you touched me and I told you, bro, if you touch me, we're yeah. going down. He like, damn, bro. Uh, this so I was like, all right, boom, and we probably passed that. See, he thought he thought because he was younger, he had been to prison before. Yeah. Remember, he had that that scar on his eye right here. He used to talk about how the Zoes split him with a lock and made him check in at the Wild Camp. Mm. You feel me? He had that scar right there. He used to talk about it, talking about how to, his own because he Haitian. You feel me? So, yeah. But he said disease hit him with a lock and made him check in over over like fifteen dollars with the canteen. You feel me? His first prison bid. You feel me? But I remember I did a video on here talking about how I was the picture man in jail, you know what I'm saying? I used to supply everybody with pictures. I done sold pictures of females, motherfucking Lil Wayne pictures. Remember what he used to say, though? What? Not just regular Lil Wayne pictures, now. Shirtless Lil Wayne. He wanted, <laughs> he wanted shirtless ones where he could see his boxer line and shit. He wanted to see his tattoos and shit, remember? <laughs> that shit was weird. That shit was crazy to me, man. <laughs> but you know me, bitch, I'm about a dollar. All right, I got you. Say no more. You feel me? They're trying to get motherfucking hoes. They're trying to get pictures of hoes. But you know, he claimed, he claimed I wasn't locked up with him. He claimed. Oh, man, come on. He, don't do that to He claimed man, that man. we wasn't in the same quad. I must have heard about him. He don't know what I'm he talking about. Yeah, bro. You know, see how people lie a lot. You feel me? He really saying that, man. Yeah, you seen the little videos and shit, though? How he you did. did. You did show me one of them, yeah, man. You feel and me? I just, I was like, damn, that's what. Do people anything. come on the internet yeah. and they, they you they, do they, anything for clout, huh? That's what we doing now. Anything for clout. Anything bro. for clout, man. You feel me? I was saying, nigga, knock me out and all this and all that there. So, since I was involved in the situation and the nigga told his side, try to make himself sound good. You feel me? Like the shit kind of pissed me off because you know niggas lying instead of telling the truth. I would respect the man if you would have told the truth, but he didn't. You feel me? But before I get into this shit, y'all hit that like, hit that subscribe. You feel me? Let's get into this shit, man. So I was in the county, and I was in there with a nigga named Haitian Mike. So we got into it over over the TV. Well, I changed it, he changed it, I changed it, he changed it. And after us doing that shit like three, four times, the last time when I changed it, I'm getting off the stool. You feel me? As soon as I'm getting off the stool, the nigga stole me. The nigga stole me right in front of the police. Now, anybody know, if you done been to the chain gang or you done been to a, a, a county jail, when a nigga crash you and the police is right there or a nigga crash you and the police can see it, that's called a check-in move, man. And that's exactly what this nigga Haitian Mike did. You feel me? He on the video trying to make himself sound good. Chunk, you can't whoop me, bro. You can't whoop me. Me and you get a fair one, I would demolish your ass, boy. But this not what this video is about. It just the shit kind of got me hot, dog. Like niggas steady telling straight lies. 
So this how this shit went down. So when the nigga stole me, I fell to the ground. And I knew the police seen this shit, bro. So in my mind, I'm like, fuck, I hope I don't go in, bro. And I stayed on the ground and all, hoping the police ain't see it. Bro, the police seen the shit. Police came to the dorm. Police called both of us out. Police say, man, why y'all did that shit in my in uh, day room? I got a new boot tech. Now I got to take y'all in. And, 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 the, and the deputy said, man, y'all could have took that shit to the room. You feel me? And I'm like, in my head, I'm like, damn, bro, I'm looking at, I'm like, fool, you just crashed me from the police, so I wanted to fire back on him right, right there in front of the police. I'm like, nah, you know what? I'm gonna eat this one. You feel me? Fool said I touched his hands and all that. Bro, if I touch you, I already know what time it is. We gonna get to a fight, so why would I touch you, bro? When I want to change the TV one more time, the nigga, boop, fired up on me, but he ain't knocked me out. Like I said, I fell to the ground because the police station right there, and I ain't want the police to see it, to catch it. Because if they didn't, I often slide fool in the room. So fool know what he was doing. You feel me? So now he get on K-Fraud shit and start explaining his side of the story. But everything he explained, he made himself look good. You feel me? Telling people how you crashed me in front of the police. This is what, I, this is what I'm still not understanding, bro. And, you know, that's not how we get down. When we call a nigga out, we don't fight in front of the police, bro. That's not how we get down, my nigga. We a hey, fool, slide to the back, fool, slide to the cup. You feel me? Slide in the room. That nigga ain't said none of that shit. That nigga took off on me in front of the police, bro. So that's a check-in move, man. I just wanted to straighten the record out, man. Um. All oh, hell great automatic. Been so long since I've been at it. Been so long, it's probably habit. I go strong, no spinach, cabbage. Nothing but vicious. My movement malicious, improvement ambitious. I exile my hit list. Never forget this, never admit this. Fucking the game and the bitches, my mistress. Mighty possessive, blow no progressive. Got tactical methods, be over in seconds. Forced to be wrecking, victory collecting. Ain't no neck to neck and ain't no way I'm guessing. One on one, don't want a one on one. You be a one and done. Give you a one and he my divinity. All of you enemies giving me energy, no way offending me. Evolution in and out the roof and talent through the roof and why you spread pollution? Why you steadily?